Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBeeDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today's card is going to be made on video and it's going to be using the new Happy Labels Punch Bunch that's coming out in the January through April 2023 mini catalog. So I'm going to show you a really fun card using this new label punch. It has like a ticketed edge on it and a little scalloped edge. And this punch can cut half inches, three quarters, and one inch. So I'm gonna show you a couple little tricks I did using this one. When I saw the new catalog, I was so taken by this font in here. And I love all the different sentiments in this set. Just a note, I just wanna hug you. You're going to be amazing parents. Um, you've got the biggest heart, a thank you. So many different ways you can use these sentiments on cards and they all can be punched out using this handy little punch here. Well, not so little, it's a good hefty one with two. Actually, you could call this a six in one punch because you're getting three different sizes, three different sizes, two, three times two, six, there you go. So I'm gonna show you a card I'm gonna make using the Dandy Designs um, celebration paper. Now this is a celebration gift. Now celebration starts on January 5th with the new catalog and it's gonna run January and February. And with a $50 order or a $100 qualifying order, you can pick um, free prizes free gifts, prizes, um, isn't everything a prize when it's a gift? Um, this is a beautiful paper. Look at the gorgeous pieces in here. Now it is a 12 by 12 pack and there are 48 sheets of 12 by 12. Both sides are have designs on them and it is a $100 celebration gift. Oh my gosh, what, how amazing is that? Look at these beautiful colors in here. You've got Fresh Freesia and Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, and look at all the pretty patterns on here. This oh, is gorgeous, especially because it's the geometric patterns that can be just mixed and matched. And you know, a little two inch piece um, just really jazzes up a card. So you can get this 48 sheets of 12 by 12. I cut them down to six by six to handle them a little easier. And that is the dandy designs that will be in the um, celebration brochure. So the card I'm going to make is gonna be using that paper, little snippets of it, and this Happy Labels stamp set in the Happy Labels punch. I'm also using our gingham embossing folder. And when you run through with this embossing folder, on this card we're gonna make. I already ran it through. When you run this through, you just need to have uh, two of your acrylic plates. So you take out that thin plate adapter. If you have a big shot, you pull up that one plate, the one flap, and you just use your base plate with no adapter in there, and then two acrylic plates on each side. I know one of the, sh one of the I guess the struggles or the um, challenges with the, all the embossing folders we have are the different sandwiches. But this one just has an acrylic plate, an acrylic plate under, and no thin plate adapter. So we're going to be putting that on the inside of on the outside of our card. But I'm going to show you what we're going to make. Ha ha! I guess you probably could have seen it on the outside of the video there. But we're going to start out with fresh freesia because that is in the designer paper we're going to use and we're going to put our gingham on the outside of the card. So let me get a nice, our, there we go. Put that gingham on the outside. Now the card base was four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And all those measurements are on my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. And they're also underneath the YouTube description. There is a sentence that says, visit my blog here. And then I have a link. You just press that link, go over to cindyleebdesigns.com and you will see additional photos and other little tidbits that I have um, for this card. It's weird to look down at my hands and not see my wedding bands. I had a freak 
um, uh, I guess it was an irritation around my hand and my finger swelled up and I had to have my rings cut off with a little thing at the um, emergency room. So I'm waiting to get my rings back, but my hands feel, I feel naked without having my rings on. Um, so here we go. That is the outside of the card. Now what we're gonna do is take a little look here. Now when you go to use these sentiments, I have found that the, if you measure your sentiment, okay, there is a little bit that's cut off here. So these are the, this is the little bit that's cut off the end, and that's a little bit about like an eighth of an inch. So I have found that if I take my, and because this one goes the whole way down on each one of them, the triple banner punch, when you put the half, um, I think it's a two inch one, but when you put them down in there, you have to know a different amount is cut off on each one. With this one, you have exactly on no matter what one you're gonna cut, you're cutting off this much on each side. So I just kind of played around with it and I found out that if I measure my sentiment where I want it to be, so just like measure it, then if I add a half an inch, that's gonna give me an eighth and an eighth that gets punched off and then about an eighth on each side of the sentiment. So like for example, on this one, I would just measure and I got, I got about two, and two and five eighths, and then I just did another an eighth, an eighth, an eighth, eighth. I just did a half an inch onto that, and then it gave me the um, size I wanted it to be. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put that aside there. I decided I was going to use on this card, um, I'll show you the ones I'm gonna use, but I already cut my slits, but I'm gonna use these. I was just testing out my inks on some paper to see how pretty they looked. And I just did tone on tone. And these are the these are the three I'm going to use. Now, you have to have these cut first to slip into here. So what I did is, just so we know that these are the three we're going to use, is I cut my slits here. Okay, let's just start with the, the top one is going to be the small one. So I cut my slit my little slip of paper um, to a half an inch. And then that's gonna fit into this smallest section here, okay? And I measured the just a note and I added in a half an inch to it. And when I did that, I found that two and a half by a half worked, okay? So this is a half. So I just measured this and it was about two inches that I liked two inches and I added a half to it and that's what I got. Now I suggest using, I punching it first. So I'm going to open up my punch. I'm gonna slide that down in and make sure that I can see it on the inside of my punch and make sure it's not like angled at all. Just make sure it's centered on there because sometimes the paper, I cut my paper just a tiny, tiny, tiny sliver that um, a tiny sliver um, narrower than it has, so it slides in really nice. And then you just have to make sure you look on the back and then punch it. And so you see these two little pieces come out and then that's gonna be the top one I'm gonna be using. Now the next one I used was the Granny Apple Green, You Are My Happy Place. And I measured this once again, and then I added a half an inch to it. And that gave me two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths. And again, I'm just gonna put that in and I'm gonna make sure I use and see it's going, the first one went into the small slot. This one's going into the next measurement slot, which is three quarters of an inch. And I'm just pushing it into the punch, holding it there, looking on the back to make sure it went the whole way down, pop that out, turn it around, keeping it that I'm punching on the same side. Put that into the three quarter inch there we go, pop that out. I've got my next little tag. If you've got your new catalog, I'm casing, kind of casing the card that's in there. I'm adding, making it a little different, um, but that's where my inspiration was if you look on page 53 of the new catalog. So I'm gonna pop this one in here and that's the one inch slot there. And then I'm just kind of getting this so it's 
centered in there. Like I said, I give just a little tiny bit of wiggle room. It's almost, I mean, it's like 132nd or 164th of an inch smaller than it is because I wanna make sure that it slides in easily. And then I just make sure that it's equal there. And then I pop that out and I have my last one. Okay, put that punch over there. Okay, now the next thing I did is on that catalog, but I can't show you the inside of the catalog, um, that card had some pretty designer series paper. So I used this really pretty polka dot that was in that dandy design celebration freebie. And I cut them the same as my biggest punch. And that was, I started out with, um, oh, I, which, oh, I told you the wrong measurement on this one. This one, here, let me, if you're, if you're making this card here, it was, um, darn. Well, I'm not going to start the video over, but, um, I just noticed I did the, uh, measurement, the biggest heart. Here we go. So the smallest one I did two and a half, and then the, this was two and seven eighths. And then this biggest one is three and an eighth. So those are my measurements there. Okay. And that just works for actually this sentiment. But what you, for, you know, my general thing is to put uh, a half an inch onto what um, the sentiment size is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that first one in Fresh Freesia. Open up my punch. Uh, this one is a little tight. I don't, didn't use it as much. So let's put just a note on there. So just get a little bit of tapping, 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 tapping when you're using little stamps. And then I'm gonna put it right on that piece. And as I said, I started out, um, it's a little juicy there. Okay. And I think I don't actually want to do that. Um, it has, it got a little bit, um, I'm gonna see if I can do that again. Let me cut another piece here real quick. Uh, Cause I wanna put this, oh, I think I can use that one. Okay, then I'm going to, I thought my Fresh Freesia had a little bit of juice in there. So we're gonna use the Granny Apple Green and that's the one that's gonna say, you are my happy place. So just little taps, little taps. I'm gonna put that on the granny apple green. There we go. And our coastal cabana is our bigger one. And once again, that rule of thumb is just to add a half inch to your size of your sentiment. Little taps. And then put that one in the middle of our coastal cabana. Pop that off. Put these up out of the way. There we go. So now we've got three fun sentiments here. And this one's still bothering me. I just want to get it. Where is my fresh freeze a piece of paper I just had? I guess we aren't going to change it because I can't find it. Okay. So what I wanted to do is put layer the I wish I had my I had one card done. But I'm going to be putting these on here, and I'm going to intersperse this pretty colorful DSP from the Dandy Designs in there. And like I said, I started out with three and an eighth, and then it cuts down to what I want, which, um, and then this one started out at two and seven eighths, and this one started out at two and a half. And then I just cut them down. And I'll have those measurements on my blog for you. So this one is the same size here. And what I did was I just layered them going across like like kind of like a um, little game there, there. But one thing I thought was um, fun to do is decorate up this piece. And what I did was I just used some twine 
and I just use those little grooves on the one side. I'm gonna get a piece of tape here. Let's see if we have a little bit more light here. And I'm gonna start out with a piece and I'm gonna tape it on to the back side using those grooves. There we go. And I'm just going to take it into those grooves. And then I'm going to snip it off and put another little piece of tape on the back there. This is something just to dress up that little punt. Just lay it flat and then you can make it a little bit tighter and then put a little piece of tape back there. So now you've got this cute little design on there and then I just took and put another little piece that I just tied a little knot into it. And I'm gonna do one on this side and one on this side and I just kind of thread that in there and just did a quick little knot. I tried to do a bow but my fingers just weren't cooperating with me so I just did a quick bow I mean, a quick knot there. And this just gives a little bit of an embellishment here to the card. A little bit of something, something. Here we go. I am gonna just absolutely love this punch because you can customize it to any of your sentiments. Just, you know, because uh, one half, three quarters, or one inch, most sentiments are gonna fit into that section. And then you just measure the sentiment, add a half an inch and clip off the ends. And there you go. So what we're gonna do is get some mini dimensionals and some maxi dimensionals. <laughs> we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this one here. And once again, that, where is that piece of fresh freesia I had? Um, I don't know where I put it. Okay. I'm going to actually get a piece here. If you guys can be patient there for me a second. And I'm just going to go over to my measurement. And I needed two and a half by a half. since I'm making this card. So you can see here, this is a good um, visual though here for you. I make a mistake for a reason. See what gets cut off of there? So now let's just put that into there. I started at two and a half and then I'm just gonna make sure this is lined up in there. Cut off that little piece. Put this one back in here. Look on the, always look on the back so that you know where you're punching and get that one off. And those two little sections come off. And then you'll see it comes down to that size, that, that size I need. Now, let's see if, I'm gonna try to, I see there's a little bit of ink in the middle here. So I'm just gonna go right here and see if I can get this one not to have the O filled in. Right in the middle. Okay, I'm a little happier with that one. Okay, now you know a little bit about me. Oh, if you've been watching me, you know I get, I want things done the way I want things done. Ha ha ha. So we're gonna put some mini dimensionals on the back of this one. And like I said, if you already looked at the front of the uh, video for today, you know what the card looks like. But at this moment right now, I'm not even sure what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna put this up here at the top of the card, thinking it's gonna go right, right in, right there, in the middle. Then I am going to put, this one is gonna go here, get that little 
fuzz there. And then this one's gonna go here. This one's gonna go here. And what I could do is put those three on, right, these ones on first, dimensional. And I'm putting these dimensionals, leaving a little space on the ends for this particular card, just so I, if I wanna put the, um, okay, so how am I gonna, I'm gonna put this here, and then put this one in the middle. And like I said, if you're looking at page 53 of the catalog, it's a bummer when we can't look at our, we can't show you the inside of the catalog till it goes live. But a lot of you have your catalogs by now. But some of them are, you know, it's holiday time. So, okay, so we're going to put this one here. There you go. Now, since I have room on the edges here, I can pop like this in here a little bit and that in there. And actually it just makes me realize I want this to go down a little bit more. Okay. It's okay, Cindy. Put this more down here because I just realized I need to get the um, those little pieces in there. And it's still okay. It's still all right. Okay. Uh, there we go. Is our purple. And I'm going to move the green one a little bit too. Nice thing about the embossing on the card, it actually, it actually allows a little bit of movement there. Okay, now we're going to work with this one. We're going to put our dimensionals on the back of this one here too. Put those dimensionals over here. Put them in the middle this one over and put it here. This dandy design paper, I just can't believe how many beautiful colors are in it. Uh, but nice Easter spring colors. Okay, so I'm going to put the the embell the twine with around this one. I'm going to put it I'm going to put it a little bit on top and a little bit on under here. So we're gonna flip it under and on top, okay? And then this one, we're gonna do a little bit on top and a little under. I see some tape peeking through here when I put this together. So I'm gonna trim that a little bit. tape happy there. Okie dokie. And then I'm going to put this one a little bit under. Oh, let's put it a little bit under again. Kind of. Yeah, I like that. Now I want to see the, the tag on the green. So we're going to slip it under here and right but we want it on an angle. Let me see here. I want to put it above. Just playing around here. Maybe we straighten this one out a little bit. There we go. There we go. And then we want this one to be a little straighter here. There we go. We've got some pretty funsies going there. We got our little bows there. And then I wanted to add some more embellishment onto it. I'm using these little flowers that are in our annual, annual catalog. And they had the pale papaya, the fresh freesia, and the polished pink. And I'm going to put on some fresh freesia flowers. Can you believe these are the only ones I have left? So I'm going to put some of these on with these these nice spring colors. Let's see if I have that there. And then I'm just going to kind of pop some flowers on here. These are so cute. And I actually realized that I wanted to put I wanted to put some pearls on the inside of that. Oh, I do have some pearls here at my desk. 
you guys are like, thank goodness, because you've been running around like crazy. One here, here, here. It's not like we couldn't put it on here too. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Is he gonna stay on there though? No. So let's see. I kinda like it on here though. Maybe I'll put some little ones on there. Okay, how about, oh, the placement. Where does it go? Um, let's put it right there. And then these little tiny ones hard to tell which side is the good side and the bad side on these. Okay, now maybe I can pop these ones onto the actual designer paper. Pop that off there. One there. And then put another one of these. These are tiny, but they really are pretty. Okay. And just when you put this in your card, you can, um, in your, in your, now you know I'm going to lose those if I don't put them back in the baggie. If you're, when you put your card in, just put a piece of cardstock on top of it so that it um, protects those little embellishments there. And one just went flying, but I see where it is. I'll get it in a second. Okay, so I said I wanted to add some pearls, and I see some of these cute little silver metallic ones. These are on the clearance rack right now, and they are just, to me, indispensable. I just love these, and I'm gonna stick one in each one of these centers of the flower. It just adds so much to the card here. Oop, there we go. And I think these ones are too small. Do you know what's funny? Do you hear that banging? I literally, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I'm doing this video early in the morning and I thought I was making too much noise and my husband was banging like on the, the floor downstairs or <laughs> from the bedroom to say, oh my gosh, would you quiet down? But I realized we're getting our roof done and they couldn't do it yesterday because, um, here I am whispering now, because the uh, it rained so bad and they're putting, uh, we're getting a metal roof put on the house. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Jim, that's a little bit rude to like be banging on the wall because I'm talking upstairs. But then I realized it's the roofers and they're banging on the roof. So I guess <laughs> Jim's gonna get woke up, uh -huh. awakened by the, by the roofers. I actually might, find some of my mini tiny tiniest little tiny baby pearls and put into these flowers but look how much those are jazzed up there with that so um, I'm using that uh, new dandy designs with the uh, happy labels punch happy labels punch the happy label stamp set I guess now when I'm using a punch that goes with the stamp set I'm not gonna have to look and see that it has a different name they are the same now Happy Label Stamp Set, Happy Labels Punch. And once again, just measure out what your sentiment is. Like if you're gonna use, you're going to be amazing parents, look at that and say, okay, that's like three inches. Add on another half inch, and that gives you enough, a little space on each side, plus enough space that gets wasted when you punch it out. And you can make your sentiments a half, three quarters, and one inch. And there you go, a cute little card. Um, I probably draw, drew it out to like a half an hour, but so simple to make. Just measure out your sentiments, punch them, pop them on there. This is a case um, inspiration, a case inspiration from page 53 of that new catalog coming out. I love that you could put three different sentiments that kind of went together. And um, the stamp set itself has just got great sentiments in it. Thank you, you've got the biggest heart. And they'll all fit into these spaces here. Um, you've got the thin one, the half inch, then you've got the one inch here, and about the three quarters inch here, three quarters inch here. So have fun with that, but I think this will be a hit in the new um, catalog coming out on January 5th. Well, I thank you for your patience, and I hope that you have fun with this new punch. And 
Thanks for buzzing by, friends.